Hello guys, welcome to the channel, welcome to, uh, to Radku Tarot, it's, uh, it's Rad and in this whole video we're going to look into uh, Aries, Sun, Moon and as well rising uh, into the week 21st to 27th of a December 2020 and uh, just give me a second here to shuffle the cards <clears throat> and we're going to move right into it. But before that, uh, just to let you know that there is a, a flash sale on the tarot classes, you get 50% off and it is uh, for the duration of the week. So, uh, and as well, it's, it is an exclusive thing for the Facebook followers. So for that being said, in order for you to take advantage of the sale, just follow me on Facebook. You can find a, the link for the Facebook page down below and uh, just give me a message on the Facebook page and I'm going to provide you with the link uh, of 50% of the tarot classes. So with that being said, moving to the uh, weekly reading for Aries, first one that we do have for you guys that is going to be two of pentacles and that describes the very topic of, uh, of the week. Followed by the Five of Cups, which stands as the uh, energy which is feeding up and supporting the topic itself. Moving next, we do have the Ten of Cups and that, these are the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week. Furthermore, we do have the uh, Queen of Wands and they, these are the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week. Moving next, that will be the impression of those that are around you, how people see you when they look at you. That is the Fool. Afterwards, we do have the Obstacles, which uh, are going to hold you down and back as well. Uh, that is the Two of Cups, or of Wands, I'm sorry. So we do have Two of Wands. Is it visible? I guess so, yeah. Uh, moving next, we do have the positive aspects of the week which are going to push you forward here and that will be the seven of pentacles and the last one we have for you that will be the nine of wands and uh, that describes the uh, overall message of the cards or rather like the guidance that Tarot has for you so those eight cards if you can just give me a second here um, right so those eight cards these eight cards I never could have, I can't really grasp on the difference in between these and those, so I'm sorry if I'm not using the appropriate term. Uh, right, so uh, what we have here, it's um, a rather pretty, pretty easy week that you are going to have in front of you. Uh, the only problem that uh, you may encounter throughout the week is really to draw a line, you know, how much is enough, that, that would be some kind of an, an issue of yours, not really any, uh, an issue but more like an, a lesson to learn, you know, when it is enough that you are to feel fulfilled or satisfied by the achieved, you know, or by the possessions that you are to acquire and so on and so forth. Uh, but let's move to the first two cards here that we do have for you, Aries. That is to be the two of Pentacles and the five of uh, and the five of Cups. So what we do have uh, it is somewhat of an aggression that uh, you are to show, and it, this isn't a uh, reckless aggression or a, a physical aggression that you are to show. How that aggression is going to uh, emerge? It is some kind of a memory, for example, or some kind of a. Uh, uh, Invo evocation or invocation, I don't know the term what it is, of a, a past experiences that was, uh, suffice to say, disappointing, okay? And uh, because they were disappointing, you are going to start feeling the necessity to make it up, to make up for it. Uh, not necessarily with similar situations, but with some kind of a situations. For example, you know, saying to yourself, I'm not going to be the loser anymore, something like this. And that will provoke the uh, very topic of the week, which is described here by the Two of Pentacles. So uh, in your case, these are the, the dynamic interactions that you are going to incorporate in terms of career or in terms of relationship. And the Two of Pentacles really will stand of how you do adapt to the situation uh, and being able to as well do uh, much with less, for example. And uh, as well, how you are in generally to flawlessly, but I don't know how to describe it really, flawlessly 
undertake the minor changes here and there into plans or into situations and make the most out of those things. Uh, that's uh, some kind of a concept as well that you may have right now are going to change and uh, by the change of those concepts you are to see that, there, that the possibilities in front of you are far greater than uh, you have initially anticipated. Uh, next card here, it is uh, the challenges that uh, you are to overcome throughout the week, and that is the Ten of, uh, the ten of Cups. So uh, Ten of Cups it is what I said, you know, when exactly to draw the line here, it will be the question that you will need to answer. For the Ten of Cups, for you, uh, as a challenge sits of, uh, you know, what is enough? for me to make my life either all of a sudden or slowly progressingly start worth living again. Uh, and uh, that is uh, overall stigma of the card or, or maximo of the card, if you will. Your life may worth its while right now, but, it, but there will be definitely within the week something that is gonna make it worth even more of its while. And, um, <clears throat> you know, it will be important that you can uh, answer that question to yourself, how far I can go with it? Because uh, the challenge also, it is like you have to learn when to, when to hold your ground or rather like put some brakes on yourself because the Ten of Cups, you may not encounter it in too many books that are on the market. You know, these days tarot books are meant for money and not for knowledge, sadly. Uh, but Ten of Cups holds really it's not negative, but more like a detrimental light within itself. And that is this side of the human nature that no matter how much you, you, you have, one always needs or wants more. And I will try to give you an example here. Uh, say you are in a situation where you, you are fixturing yourself on one particular person that you want to be with or one job that you want to be with. Finally, you get that thing uh, and you beforehand you were, you were kind of like praying for, please God, you know, just give me that and I'm never going to ask you for anything else. And, they, and God gives you that. <clears throat> okay, And a few months later, you completely forgot that you have prayed for it and there is something else on the horizon in you. Again, you know, please God, just... just Give me that and I will never going to ask you again. So that kind of a, uh, a side of the human nature is the negative side or rather like the unpleasant side of the Ten of Cups. And for that reason, you need to learn where to draw the line or you need to identify where to draw the line throughout the week. For otherwise, uh, not that much is going to happen, but it's, it's kind of like, how can I say? This, the, 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 Unability to, to feel satisfied will be constantly there, no matter how good accomplishments you are to achieve throughout the week. So moving next, we have the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy. We do have a person here who, for you, well, it may look a bit nefarious, or rather like disingenuous, uh, because the Queen of Wands, it's, it's somebody who frankly said doesn't really care about you at all but for one or another reason uh, it seems that you perfectly fit with the queen of wands schemes and uh, when i say schemes i don't mean that she that she i'm saying she because it's a queen but it could be as well a male i don't mean that this person is going to uh, deprive you of, of anything just on the contrary with together with that queen of wands you can go for a long run because this person sees what you are good at, okay? They, they see your true value, they know how what kind of a role you can play in their society, in their job, in their business, for example, and fits you exactly where you can be most productive. Uh, as well, uh, that, that is in terms of business, but if we're talking about in terms of relationships, that could, the relationship that could be this handsome person that you always straight strived for, type of an individual that you have always strived for and for what it seems throughout this week you are going to have the luxury if you want to say it that way to be with such type of an individual what you need to know about the ones though the, the court of ones it is that they are completely driven by their ambition and by their interest 
And if you decide to engage into such a relationship with a wound type of person, you got to be pretty interesting, okay? They do not settle for calm and peaceful and how can I say, a structured certain life. They want excitement, they want constant enterprises, they want thrill as well. Something that personally I would never settle for, okay? But people were different. Some wants to feel the butterflies into the stomach. You know, someone, some people want to feel the, for example, doing it at places where you can be caught, okay? These kind of stuff. So moving next, we do have the impression of the people around. Uh, that will be the uh, full card that we do have. And that could be one of the reasons why the Queen of Wands kind of like fixture itself on you. And that is because with the full card, people are going to, when they look at you, they're going to see a very sincere and very open person to explore new horizons, new relationships, new opportunities in general, new jobs. Uh, also, people are going to see you very spontaneous, that you do not hold anything within. Now, that may not be true, all right? You may have a big secret, for example, or kind of like gnashing your teeth, not to say something that is going to cause rather a big predicament, but people don't see that. They only see a person who speaks their mind, person who is very spontaneous as well, somebody that is campering around, trying to learn this and learn that, you know, this kind of like a, a unpremeditated, um, behavior that, for example, children have or, or people that are just assigned into a new environment, into a new place. And that is exactly how people are going to look at you. And also the other impression it is that they're going to have is like you are kind of like catching up a breath, right? And that you are now start thinking of, uh, of something big, something new. And that could be a big case here. Generally, people are going to see you in a very different light. That they have saw you thus far. Moving next, we do have the uh, obstacles which are going to hold you back and down, and that is the two of wands. And here we are talking about aggression, and that correlates with the ten of cups to know when to put uh, the brakes. Okay, so you may be very aggressive and always want to push further and further for another thing and for the other thing and for the another thing and uh, never being able to, to stop for a second, look around and just enjoy your accomplishments. That, that's all. The two of wands in this particular case, uh, as a obstacle, it, it is the, uh, the wish, if you will. I, I remember, you know, somebody that was saying to me, I wish all the sweetie in the world to be in my mouth, all right, <laughs> when we were kids. <laughs> but uh, my point is that the aggression to want something to be accomplished all the time is to deprive you to enjoy the result of accomplishments because you are going to be always on the move other way, uh, otherwise. There will be time for that, but not throughout this week. Well, you can do it throughout this week, like I said. There will be a good accomplishment as well, but they will mean nothing because you will not have the time to enjoy them. So what is going to be the thing then that is going to help you or rather like the positive aspects of the week that, is going to, that are going to push you forward? We do have the seven of a pentacles. So with the seven of pentacles, those are your very keen mental abilities to be able to always see does certain, uh, certain, oh my God, the word just jumped out of my mind. Um, no resources, oh my god, resources, uh, wow, I just lost my mind, investments, right, so certain investments are going to work there, uh, every time, for example, when somebody approaches you with uh, a proposition, say, do you want me and you to kind of like participate into this deal. And when you learn what the deal is all about, you will kind of like have an idea, pretty good idea, the only good idea, is that deal really worth, worth its while or not? Or somebody asks you out, you will know exactly how you stand, that will come from within. 
uh, for example, somebody asks you out and you know, you go out and you see that that could be just a friendship. It could kind of like transform into a romantic relationship and so on and so forth. So the important thing here with the Seven of Pentacles is truly giving yourself a time to uh, not to rush the things through because with the Seven of Pentacles, some people or in general you Aries, you have to um, kind of like uh, find yourself in a calm place or in a calm environment so you can think carefully over the, uh, over not the consequences, but over the input towards income, right? So how much you're going to throw in to how much you're going to pull, pull out of it. And if you do that, I mean, if you do put your mind into work here instead of your heart, um, nobody will be able to mess around with you or to screw you around. And another thing that the Seven of Pentacles, it's, and that is a very practical thing, by the way, it is that uh, some kind of an event is looming. Um, it, it's kind of like not looming, but behind the corner, it's about to happen. And uh, you will have to put very serious thoughts into, uh, into this event. The last uh, card that we do have, this is the guidance for you, Aries. And that is going to be the seven, uh, the nine of wands, I'm sorry. So guidance wise here, that relates to the five of cups, which we had, which is the uh, energies of the reading. And uh, it pretty much points that the experience you had, like I said, everything starts from this aggression of a, uh, uh, of past failures, right? But these past, past failures, they do play a very big, big role for you. These failures were not set to you to, to blow off so you can feel bad or you felt bad, but you need to you need to, work, to, to go through it so you don't feel bad right now, okay? Uh, something that I was constantly reminding because I, I didn't have an easy life, okay, uh, up until I turned 28, just like many people in the world. But my, my idea of, and how I look into it is that it's better to have a tough life when you are young rather than to have a tough, tough life when you are in mid-age or elder. So, uh, yeah, the, these experiences, although negative or poignant, depending on how you look at them, they play a vital role, and that is that you are not going to have those experiences anymore. And you are proving that throughout the week by rearranging the plans and being able to take on-the-fly opportunities here and there and make from the small changes a huge opportunities. So that being said, Aries, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you do enjoy the reading. Once again, guys, uh, for exclusively for the Facebook uh, following, uh, the tarot classes are on a flash sale and uh, in order for you YouTubers to take advantage of them, just follow me on Facebook. You're gonna find my page here in the description down below and there you just send me a message on the Facebook page and I'm going to provide you with a link where you can buy the classes with 50% off. So that being said, thank you so much guys and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.